Question 10 is an overall structure question, and we're working with a scientific passage here. So this is a science-based passage. Now, when I have a science passage and I'm looking at structure, purpose, or function, what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on what I call my lab report parts. And what I mean by this is I want you to think about the different elements we talk about or write in a school lab report for a science class. So a lot of times your science lab reports are going to begin with some sort of background information. And then there'll probably be a question. And to that question, you'll have your own hypothesis. And then after your hypothesis, you'll probably have a list of materials that you use. And then you'll detail the method of your experiment, what you're doing. And then you'll probably have your data or what your findings are. And then your lab report will end with your conclusion. So most lab reports are going to follow this pattern or this organization. So all I want to do for this passage is figure out which of these lab report parts do I have in this passage. So let's look at this passage together. The first sentence says changes to vegetation cover and other human activities influence carbon and nitrogen levels in soil, though, which though always means but. So I know this is what's important. But how deep these effects extend is unclear. Ooh, great. I have my question. We don't know how deep these effects extend. Then it says hypothesizing. So I know we have a hypothesis. The hypothesis is that difference in land means difference in nitrogen and carbon levels. That's my hypothesis. And then it says that this group of scientists sampled soil. So that's going to be my method. And then it says that they found, again, notice how though, that's my but sentence, this is going to be important. So they found, that's my finding, oops, that across land use types, uh, that across land use types, carbon and nitrogen just decreased to comparatively low levels. So we have a question a hypothesis, method, and finding. And the finding was that across land, um, carbon and nitrogen actually decreased beyond uh, depths of 30 centimeters. Now, I'm going to go through the four answer choices and look at uh, the ones that have all four of these types, or all four lab report parts. So answer choice A says we begin with a phenomenon that we don't fully understand. Okay, phenomenon we don't understand, that can be my question. And then it says we have my hypothesis. Yes, we saw that. And then it says we described a finding. Sure, we saw that. But then it says that led the team to refine the hypothesis. We did not refine the hypothesis at the end of the passage. We just described the finding. So we don't come back to the hypothesis at the end. So answer choice A, incorrect. Answer choice B says that we introduce a question. I like that. We saw that. And then we presented a hypothesis. Great. We saw that. And then we describe an observation. An observation is another word for finding. So I like that. But it says that the observation conflicts with that hypothesis. I didn't read that observation super in depth. So I'm going to come back to this. I'm going to go to C and D first and see if I can eliminate more answer choices. Answer choice C says it discusses a process uh, that scientists are unclear about. Okay, that's my question. And then it says introduces competing hypothesis. Competing hypothesis means that two hypothesis, hypotheses that are working against each other or fighting each other. Well, I didn't have that. I saw one hypothesis uh, in my passage. I didn't see two. Uh, and they, I, didn't, I definitely didn't see two hypotheses that disagree with each other. So for that reason, C is incorrect. Answer choice D says, it explains a hypothesis that has been the subject of scientific debate. Notice how answer choice C, where it says competing hypotheses and hypothesis of debate. Notice how C and D are both giving you the same kind of sentiment or the same idea. For that reason, both of those answer choices are incorrect. 
um, you know, for the same reason. And so make sure when you pick up on these, you know, if you can pick up on these patterns, you'll be able to solve these questions a lot more efficiently. So because I know that um, C and D are incorrect, I know that B is the correct answer. Just to go back and make sure it's super clear though, um, because it says that the observation conflicts with the hypothesis. If we look at the observation and the hypothesis, the hypothesis was that different land uh, would mean different carbon and nitrogen levels. But the actual finding says across land types. So it means across different kinds of lands, um, carbon and nitrogen decreased to low levels. So it means in all different types, carbon and nitrogen decreased, which goes against the hypothesis with the hypothesis, which thought that in different types of lands, you would have different kinds of levels. Um, so for that reason, B is absolutely correct and the correct answer to this question.